Hey guys, uh, as you can see, I went ahead and pulled the motor out of the Nova. I was going to get running in the Nova and decided against it. Uh, I've just had so much going on. I really wanted that Nova back out of here uh, so I could get my garage kind of straightened up. Uh, so here's the motor. I did run the numbers. It's a 69 to a 73, um, 307. So, you know, it's got a lot of good stuff on it. Still got the old smog equipment. And, uh, you know, most of this stuff got uh, cut off and uh, ruined, uh, you know, throughout the years. Uh, anyway, some people pay big money for this. If this was uh, off of, like, say, a 69 Nova, it'd be a couple thousand dollars there. Um, but, you know, I don't know what the demand is for this 73 stuff. Maybe if somebody was fixing, like, a 73 uh, Z28 Camaro or something like that, you know, if they were really wanting to go back original, maybe, maybe that'd be something they'd want. I don't know, but here it is. The fluid's real good and clean in the, uh, in the transmission. The oil looks good in the motor. Uh, hopefully tomorrow I can get this motor out and, uh, get some super clean on it and just degrease it and pressure wash it, clean it up good and get it either on the stand are in the truck. It's really not much more trouble just to go ahead and put it in the truck. But if it's bad and it's not a good motor, then you've cost yourself some uh, headache there. But uh, so anyway, uh, more than likely just gonna put it on the stand, get it started, see how it does. Um, really hoping that the uh, 56 is gonna be here soon. Uh, as you can see, I got my old 90 model in here. Uh, this old truck has set for a while and I went, here, I don't know, a couple weeks back, I guess, and I put tags on it. Uh, the tag had been out for quite a while, and uh, I put insurance back on the truck. So I've been driving it, and uh, this old truck's so rough, but most of y'all know the story on it. This truck belonged to my dad. Um, of course, this was going to be my first truck at some point, you know, but, you know, everything he had there for several years was going to be mine, whatever. You know how kids are. They kind of claim things, but anyway... Uh, he bought the truck in 96. At some point, it got traded in, I think, in Knoxville. Made its way to uh, West Tennessee. I'm not sure how it made it all the way out there, but I'm really not sure how it made it all the way back out here. Uh, so it, it wound up here close to me. Uh, you got to think, this is probably a four-hour drive or five-hour drive, maybe, from right here where I'm at. And for this truck to make it all the way back to Roan County, which is just one county over, and then it got pawned here in Decatur. Uh, and I worked as a police officer in Decatur. And I went by and kind of thought it was the truck because of some stickers uh, that was on the tailgate. And uh, I had seen this truck in Decatur, and, I mean, it just sort of drew me to it. Of course, it looked so much better when my dad bought it. Of course, you know, it had just been painted. The truck had been wrecked. Uh, so they just fixed it, painted it, you know, it looked like a new truck. Um, so anyway, I hadn't seen it in years, seen those guys driving it and, uh, it just sort of stayed on my mind. And then I seen it at the pawn shop. So they had lost it. I guess pawned the title, didn't pay it and uh, lost the truck. So I went by, put a bid in. I actually won it and, uh, didn't go back and get it. I thought there's no way that's that truck. Well, finally I, I ran the bin. Uh, we won't get into all that, but this was the truck. Uh, that my dad had. Uh, he had registered it in 96 here in 10 Mile. Uh, so pretty cool that it found its way back. It's really not worth fixing, but, you know, uh, just sentimental value, I guess. Uh, and it's a good truck. I really like this truck. I like this truck probably better than anything that I own. I really like the way it drives. These OBS trucks are just good running, driving trucks. And uh, this thing has never failed me. It starts up every time, even after setting for months on end. It, it fires right up. It goes down the road. It changes gears good. It's just a really tight old truck, and it, it doesn't look like it. But now, I have put ball joints and stuff in it in the past, uh, back when I first started working on it. The truck did have a lift kit. Uh, that's another thing um, that kind of told me that this was a truck. Uh, the way the lift kit had been put in, uh, seemed like Daddy had made some brackets for the rear bumper. Uh, this is a different bed than what was on it. Um, but this, this is what really gave it away. I done that when I was a kid trying to put a CB on this truck. Probably really pissed my dad off at the time. Cause see, I tried to mount it on this plastic that tells you how silly I was. 
and it wouldn't work. And then dad, I think, drilled that hole for me. But anyway, just really neat that the truck found its way back to me. I've got another bed that's at Tim Dixon's, a really nice white bed. This ain't a, a bad bed, but it's got this damn old uh, rhino liner crap on it. I'm not even going to start fighting trying to get that stuff off. I got that bed from Tim, and uh, it's really good shape. Uh, the bed floor, I believe, looked really good. Uh, again, it's all white. Uh, pretty sure it had a good tailgate on it. Uh, if it don't, I may have another one laying around. We'll see. I've got to put a door on the passenger side, and uh, I've got two really good fenders. They, nothing really wrong with these fenders. That one over there's got a little spot of rust, and some of this old paint. I don't know what kind of paint they painted the truck with, but uh, it's kind of thick. So I may just go ahead, get rid of the, the front fenders. I've got another hood. Same deal with this hood, just old thick crap. I'd be... I could make short work of that with that Eastwood contour stripping it down, but again, I've got a really good hood with original paint. So, gold hood, gold fenders off of an 88 truck I've got. I've got another radiator support where this truck got flipped. It crushed your radiator support and they kind of stretched it back out. I think I got another bumper, passenger side door off the 91. I've got all the four wheel drive stuff I've got to take out of the 91. Um, and I'm going to go ahead while I got the bed and the front end off, uh, pressure wash the frame, clean it up, paint it. A um, whole lot to do with the truck, but the good thing with this one is I can stop at any time. I can pull it in and out of the garage. It runs and drives. I can just pick at it slowly. And, uh, you know, when the 56 gets here, of course, this will be, this will be its spot. Um, and then, you know, eventually, hopefully get the 66 done here soon. And then, you know, whatever. So, I, again, I'm just picking at it and, uh, you know, just moving it around. The worst thing in the world is to let something set. Um, this one's probably going to take me a while. You know, I'm hopefully get the bed off anyway here soon and go ahead and get the frame and stuff cleaned up and painted back there, drive the truck up to Tim's and, uh, put the other bed on it. Just maybe stick a couple bolts in it. Cause when I paint the truck, of course it'll have to come back off, but, um, long, long way to go. A lot of stuff to do to this thing, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. Um, again, it's probably not even worth fixing, but just because of uh, kind of the backstory on it, that's why it's getting fixed. Anyway, just kind of wanted to, damn, that felt good. Just kind of wanted to show y'all where we was at with the uh, 307 here. I hope this is a good running motor, but if it's not, no biggie. Uh, we'll build one of his 350s or find another one. Either way, we're going to make it right for him. Guys, as always, I appreciate you watching. Maybe I can get out here tomorrow and uh, get this thing cleaned up and on the stand, and, and maybe we can do a first start on it. It'd be a long time since that motor's actually sat there and idled. I think it was parked in 2002, uh, so it would have set uh, 21 years. But now when I got it five, six, seven, eight years ago, I don't remember how long I've had the car. I did start it, but it just hit. It never sat there and actually ran. Uh, the, it had points and stuff on it, and I just didn't really want to – fool with it didn't care nothing about the 307 at the time but uh it'll do jimmy you know he goes from the the backyard to the front front to back you know so it, it, it'll it'll do what it needs to do guys as always i'm uh, i'm gonna hush i appreciate you watching we'll catch you on the next one see you later